Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of Magento. So today we are going to learn how to import categories into the category system of Magento. So let's see how we are going to do that. So th before that, those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So you currently you can see that we have only test categories, right? And I think we have only one product. Now I'm going to import categories with the help of the console command in Magento. So let's see. So here we have the command. I have already made the extension. So let's see. This is the command. First thing uh, that is the categories you want to import from the sample CSV or you want to the CSV sample file is like um, here you need to put the IDs and here you, uh, if your ID is not there, then you can mention accordingly. Then we have a name. Then we have a parent ID. Okay. Then you have to mention the parent ID, which parent ID is to be linked with. Okay. So let's see if I'm going to run this command, what happens? So I'm going to copy this command. Okay. And going to paste it over here. Okay. Sudo. And this PHP bin is pending. Okay. So I'm going to add PHP bin. And now I'm going to enter this. This var import category the CS does not exist. So what I can do, I can just copy this one and try to make a CSV file of it. Okay. And uh, let's go for the var import. So I'm going to go with the var import. There is import. There is nothing import. I'm going to create a new folder import. Right. And here I'm going to create a new file with a terminal, which name is. So where it is terminal. So I'm going to add touch test.csv, right? CSV. I'm going to add it over here and it's added. Let's move on, open it and add the categories that we have added. Okay. So ID name, category, parent ID should be null. Then 10, 11, 12. Okay. This is, are the IDs which I'm going to add it right now. So this is done. Let's, this is test. Okay. So here we go with the terminal where it is. And let's go to the terminal part. We have to mention it with the test dot category, right? So here we have a test category dot CSV. We have made it CSV, right? Test dot CSV. Let me confirm this test dot CSV. Let's enter it. Import completed, right? So let's see the categories are coming out right or not. Category name one, category name two. You can see that, right? So successfully, we have imported the categories with the help of the console command easily, right? So how we are going to do that? That is the main question. We have to go with the code level. So let's see the code level. What are we are doing with this part? Okay. So let's see what exactly we have done. <coughs> so I'm going to show you my structure of the command, right? So here we have the category. Let me close this one. And let me open the files from the uh, from the terminal. So here we go with this. Let me open the code. Okay. So here we go with the CD app code. And then Rajnikanth. Okay. So here we am going to go with a uh, code. Let me code. Okay. So here's the files of the code, right? So let me open that one. Give me a second. <coughs> okay. So here we have a category importer. We have a console command categories command dot PHP etc. You know that only module dot XML or config dot XML require setup for the if you are the old ID is what and the new ID. Uh, otherwise, we don't require we require just just categories command dot PHP, which is a console command of it, right? And this is the sample file which we are going to use, nothing else. So you need to just console command categories command.php, right? So like the normal command, that console command which we have, I have the tutorial on that, how to create, which is basically programmatically create the categories, right? Just making it in a form of the uh, console command, which is a better you in the Magento part, right? So let's see how we are going to use it. So this here we have written the code about uh, like add ID and the category name we have. Now we have the import categories. Okay. So let's go for the function. So execute function is there. Specify the path. Then we have the all if the file exists or not. Okay. We will check in. Then we are just running out the data and mapping the data with the name, category, ID in the row 
ID, parent IDs exist or not exist, if it is null, whether it's to be go in the base category or the children category, all of the things we have to be taken care of it, right? And after that, all the things are going up, then we have printing out that the import is totally done. Okay, so basically, uh, if you if you are creating a category programmatically, then you can use it as a console command and um, with the help of the CSV, just loop it and uh, map the data with the headers and uh, put all the data with the name, parent ID and all in the in that part and insert that categories. Any query, any doubt in that, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.